So we're down the beach. First trip in the dinghy. Now we're not going to do much today. I'll add this on to some other footage, but we are going to go out and just drop a couple of pots. We've got one in the dinghy at the moment. There's another one that will be coming in a minute. But, uh, first time down with the car as well. I'm, I haven't actually driven it since I only got it insured uh, a couple of days ago, so I was using the old one up until then. But everything seems fine at the moment. And uh, we're going to come back after this and we're going to work on the boat a little bit. But first, we're going to go and drop these two pots out. You know that, that we know the reef straight ahead somewhere. Right, I'd let it go now. Make sure the rope's going to feed out nice because we're motoring and I can't. Obviously, I don't have a gear on this, so, as you know. Throw the bobs out as soon as you can. Lovely job, lovely job. I'll do the trick. Let's hope it's still there next time. That's hot. You can do be slow with your movements because, like I say, it's all new. You know what I mean? New but old. We'll go up in the middle somewhere with this one. I'd let it go somewhere around here. When you're ready. Down it goes. Pop us away. Now is the rope sinking? That's the question. Not very fast. Oh yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, it's going down though, look. It's slow, but that's what you get with new rope. You'll probably find the bobbers will twist together to start with. Right, get back in. It's the next day now, and we're just sitting here, chilling out. <laughs> Drifting. It's great, eh? We're going to go out and... Uh, Put this pot out but we're also going to go and check the other two pots that we put out yesterday it's only been 24 hours i'm not expecting an awful lot but if there's spiders around we might get a spider might even get a lobster we don't know i mean the bait was a bit fresh from for it but good for spider so let's go and see if we've got anything in the pots see if you've got spider crab between oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we're just passing our set of pots we're going to put this one just further over from it just so we know where they are like I said they're more about soaking them at the moment getting them soaked and then we'll move them out further as once we get the big boat down that just get clear of this one right when you're ready let it go Gonna check that the rope is sinking, not run over it. Yeah, it's going down. That's going down well, actually. That's got plenty of weight on it. You see the speed it sinks. Great. Right, let's go and check this other one. Will, have, will it have caught anything after 24 oh, hours? Done, yeah. early. Well, I say it's early, it's not that early. Normally we might be out a little bit earlier, but the weather's been so bad and they still give winds this week. Although, from not a bad direction, but probably too much to come out. At least at high tide anyway. We could probably get out at low tide if we really wanted to. How does it feel pulling the first pot oh, exciting. of the year? So exciting. And how's it, how does it feel on your muscles? <laughs> Bit of well, shock? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. 
She's been working out, getting ready for the uh, season <laughs> last few days. She's been digging the garden actually. <laughs> I shall lean back over this way. I see orange. Orange. It's quite a crowd then. Oh, oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting that. First pot, look at it. <laughs> oh, heck. That's a lot of crab. That is a lot of crowd. A couple of good ones in there, I think, eh? Yeah, there's one here, definitely still having his breakfast. First pot of the year, and look at it. it. Looks like it's going to be a good spider year. Unless this is just a one-off, but wow. I told you fresh bait works well. Yeah, I think the They've devastated that bait, haven't they? Okay, then. Better get emptying. Are you going to pull it into the boat? Yeah, I am. Right, here we go. All right, let's see what we got, then. You might, uh, well, that bucket, is it? Oh, oh, it's... There's one. That's not a bad one, yeah. Watch out, because I'm going to grab onto the net all the time. Lovely job. That's all right. It's not a giant, but it's not a tiddler either. It's good for the first one. It is, it is. You might want to um, try and get them in a bucket or something if you've got the space, because they'll crawl under the seats and sometimes they'll wedge themselves there. So they'll stay in there, of course. One crab. That's, an, that's not a bad one either. I thought it was going to be a little one coming. Been a while, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't take long to get back in the swing of things. Eh? At least we know where the pot is because um, we put the other one behind it. That was yep. part of the reason I did this as well, was to. Because I think our inner pot, I don't think our inner pot will catch like this. Because this is the furthest one out we got at the moment. Ah, that's nice, it's nice. It's not a bad one, I think mm. I'll keep it Most of those are probably too small. Maybe that one, but... I don't mind. See the difference, though, again, with the ones that have marched in. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That one's not bad, one, actually. Yeah. Chuck, chuck, chuck the best in the box and then we'll sort them out. So what we'll do is we'll keep the best aside, throw all the small ones over, and then at the end of it we'll decide what we're going to keep and put yep. back. So most of these will be going back now. Yep. There's a little brown crab in there on his own. Oh, they're all falling everywhere down there. Legs caught. Okay, so that's the thing with spiders in these pots. These pots are not really meant for the spiders. We've got some big open pots, but they're a bit lighter, a couple of them, or the shape of them. They'll tend to roll more in the weather, and as there was a bit of weather coming, I thought I wouldn't put those out straight away. Uh, uh, you reckon? Looks well, I like to say we'll sort through yeah. them later. Yeah, so like I said, our spider pots are still at the house but we'll get them out but they've come in i say early early-ish but then again we are a little bit later this year so than some years that's the smallest <laughs> are you able to push that one for yeah i can push it You can get the shanker straight away because he's got his legs folded up, I think. Before he grabs on. There you go. Little shanker. Little brown crab. There we go. That's our really old, one of the old pots that we were going to decommission. We just thought we'd throw it out and use it for a bit. Right, let's get back into position. Fact, we're not far off, actually. Okay, you can drop it here. There we go. 
go. 24 hours, not bad. <laughs> Well, this is our inner pot, it's quite close in this one, so I'm not expecting too much in it, but you never know. I have had some big spider crabs in, and I've had some big lobsters, but I don't know where the pot, I mean, I think we just threw it on open ground, so. Like I say, we're more about soaking the pots at the moment, get the wood soaked up. Big rope on it, this one. <laughs> this is that smaller part, I think. The black one, yeah. This is uh, a pot a friend gave us. We, um, <coughs> He was dumping some old pots and he said, do you want any? I said, yeah, we'll take that. So I took it, fixed it up. So um, we've got a couple of extra pots, which Unusual one's an ink. Ones. Yeah, one's a D, like a little open D, which is this one. Then we got another inkwell, which he gave us. So like I say, they were broken, but we fixed them up. There it is. Might be something dark at the back of that one, this is just the weed now. Right. 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 Spider crabs, in it? Huh. Three of them. Well, that's alright. I mean, like I say, it's uh, a lot closer in this one. Look at him with his barnacles. Yeah. A lot smaller these ones, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, well, like I say, we are closer in, so. Better keep that and put it on the wire again. Because that's all we got. That's not a bad one. Compare it to the others, see what it looks like. Anyway, yeah, it's just about. A similar size. I'll, I'll say we'll, we'll keep them and then go through them later. Yeah, look for the best condition ones yeah. in that. Right, bait's not going to last very long. It's not, is it? I mean, it's surprising it's lasted this long. Yeah, with spider crabs, absolutely massacre yeah, the baits. That's the thing with spider crab. Well, that's an old metal. We'll have to get a new uh, bait. Thing for that, I've got an old one in that. I have got a new one. There's that one. A couple of dog wilks. Right, you ready? Because I'm going to start the engine. Yeah, Drop it. There we go, two pots checked. And here we are back on shore. And Rebecca's pulling the boat up while I sit on my fat ass. <laughs> my fat ass, that's all right. Yeah, it's quite, it's, it's nice and calm in here. Lovely it is. Rebecca's got her crabs there, she's quite happy. She's like, I'll have you later, I'll have you tomorrow. So there we are, I've got some crab. Just keeping, I don't know what it is, four of them, something like that. And uh, they'll be in the pot before you know it. <laughs> She'll be outside later on, chomping away, chomping orange, away. Orange buckets, perfect. Yeah. Right, I better go and get the car. Well, well, we came back in and we uh, started working on the boat. And, and you'll see the covers back up. 
it needs a nice day now with some heat just to stretch it all out and looks a bit different obviously because that bit's brand new but once it dirties down a bit it'll match in all right and uh we've got a new strap on the front which holds it down so it's coming along i've got to do a few more bits yet put a post on like another one of these and i still got to sort out the float switch not working but i've got some new ones ordered so they'll be on their way and then i've got to sort the dinghy trailer out this trailer i think it's perfectly fine it had it had a new set of wheels some time back so they're still good and everything else on it is good so we're almost sort of almost we still got to do some work on the sides and the numbers and all the different things like that but just uh glossary you might say get the engine on it and we're good to go and then just uh yeah this side needs a bit more working on but we'll get round to that right let it go So we don't can't let it go back to the engine. Right, stopping it. It's certainly breezy out here, it's an offshore, that's why it's fairly flat, but it's still very windy. You can probably hear it on the camera. This is the second day of lifting. We've got three pots to lift today, and then we're going to leave them for a while, I think, because it's uh, not very nice the next few days. It's supposed to get worse than this, so. We were, we were thinking whether to bother today or not, then we decided, because we had the pots with us to bring out, we thought we'd just as well go for it. This is a heavy pot, remember that. Small one, but looks right. So, one pot decent. of spiders again, one decent one in there, the rest can go back. That's yeah. half decent. Yeah, it's half decent, but we won't take that. As soon as you've got this one clear, we'll chuck a bit of bait in and we'll, we'll move over. You can probably put uh, a head in that one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, we'll have a look at it when we land, I think. Like I said, it's a bit, bit yucky to be messing about too too long here. Right, I'm going to start the engine, so you hold on. Get moving. You can tell Gertie Summer's here. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Let it go. Most of the rope in. Oh, I tell you what, it's not warm out here. It feels like we're going back to winter again. That looks like a heavy pot. 
Does it feel like a heavy pot? It does. One crab, I can see. It's about all I can see from here. Uh, three crabs. Uh -huh. Three crabs. We didn't have a lot of bait left. Well, there is some bait here, but not a lot. Yeah, they're all small. small. Mind you, with the swell, the cra crabs are probably not on the feed so much because I've taken cover for a bit. Start the second for the head to I've got to move, otherwise we're going to end up on this reef. So get to the and the waves are starting ro rolling off the reef. That's hot. I can see it today because of the shading, but. The reef is just there where we normally yeah. put it, so we're not far from it. A little bit closer and we'll be there. Now if I line those two bobbers, that should get me around about where I need to be. So this is our closest in pot again. Like I said, we are pretty close here. Up here, the door will open, we can just take him out here. Ah, oh, we've got a zip. Why did we zip tie it? I don't know. Probably because we, it's such a small pot, we wouldn't use it like that anyway. Right, you go that side, and you go that side. Yeah, they're going to keep them separate. <laughs> All right, going to be putting a conga head in this one. Hopefully, we'll just get it on. Make sure the wire's straight, straight before you push it. You'll, it'll buckle up on you when you're trying to push it through. It's coming through. It's right in the eye. There it is. Watch it when you bend it up that you don't snap it off because it seems a bit weak that way. Right. So not so much today, just the one. Well, I say the one. There would have been two or three, but we wouldn't take them that size, even though they are legal. That's it. If it won't go up, if it's not enough up, go down around the lip of the pot. That'll stay there? Yeah, I think so. Right, are you ready? Start an engine. So 
that's it, just the one nice crab. Not nice out there at all. Second day. This was uh see we've got the box done. The seat's been done, but I've got even another coat and then I'm gonna give it a coat of uh, hard wax over the top of that. Painted a bit, just need to clean up a little bit here and there. It's only glossed or sort of spray gloss. Same with the back. And the outside's been done as well. Let's have a look here. Look. Uh, the other side I think. That's been done. Oh yeah, it's looking not too bad this side now. Gonna give it another once over. Try and touch up a couple of bits. But uh, we're almost there. Front cuddy. Oh, I sorted the wiring out to the float switches. Uh, one of the wires had gone on the float switch. so Didn't need a new float switch even though I bought two new ones. One and one spare. The old one still works. So we'll keep going with that for now and I'll switch it out if we get a problem. But, no. Not far off launch now. <laughs>